Last of the Summer Wine is a beloved British sitcom that initially aired on BBC One from 1973 to 2010, making it the longest-running comedy series in British television history. The show was created and written by Roy Clark and set in the picturesque Yorkshire countryside town of Holmfirth. The series followed the adventures of a group of elderly friends, primarily consisting of three men. The show's humor often centered around their attempts to relive their youth, their love lives, and their bumbling schemes to pass the time in later years. Sadly, many of the cast members have since passed away. Today, we're going to look at the lives and careers of the members of the main trio of men. Join Facts First UK as we present Last of the Summer Wine Cast Deaths That Are Utterly Tragic. Michael Bates Michael Bates played Cyril Blamar in Last of the Summer Wine. Born December 4, 1920, in Jhansi, British India, now Uttar Pradesh, India, Bates had a diverse and successful career in film, television, and theater. He began his journey in the late 40s working on stage and radio before transitioning to screen roles. He appeared in several British films in the 1950s and 60s, including The Coldest Story and The Wreck of the Merry Deer, where he showcased his versatile acting skills in both comedic and dramatic roles. But it was his role as Cyril that brought Bates widespread recognition. As Cyril, he portrayed a pompous and self-important character, often clashing with his companions in comedic misadventures. Tragically, Bates's life was cut short by illness. In 1978, at age 57, he was diagnosed with a rare and markedly aggressive form of cancer known as pancreatic pseudocyst. Despite undergoing surgery, Bates's health deteriorated rapidly forcing him to leave Last of the Summer Wine. The role of Cyril was subsequently taken over by Brian Wilde as the new character Walter Foggy Dewhurst. On January 11, 1978, Bates succumbed to his illness and passed away in Chelsea, London, leaving behind a remarkable legacy as a talented actor. Peter Salas Peter Salas played Norman Clegg on the show. Born February 1, 1921, in Twickenham, Middlesex, England, Salas had a prolific career in film, television, and theater, spanning several decades. He began his acting career in the 1940s and gained recognition for his stage work, including performances in Shakespearean plays. He made his film debut in 1947 with a small role in The Loves of Joanna Godden. Over the years, Salas appeared in numerous British films, such as The Day the Earth Caught Fire and A Taste of Honey. He also lent his voice to the popular animated series Wallace and Gromit, voicing the character of Wallace for over three decades. But it was his role as Norman Clegg that truly solidified his place in the hearts of audiences. He joined the show's original cast in 1973 and remained a central character throughout its incredible 37-year run. Norman Clegg, the mild-mannered and introspective member of the trio, endeared himself to viewers with his dry wit, gentle nature, and penchant for philosophical musings. Salas's portrayal of Norman added depth and warmth to the show, contributing to its enduring popularity. Tragically, Peter passed away June 2, 2017, at age 96. He died peacefully at his home in Northwood, London, surrounded by loved ones. Bill Owen Bill Owen was a talented actor and musician who became a beloved figure through his role as Compo Simonite. Born March 14, 1914 in London, he first rose to prominence in the 50s and 60s as a character actor in British films such as The Blue Lamp and The Square Peg. Before his acting career took off, he initially pursued a passion for music. He played the guitar, banjo, and piano, and even wrote and performed several of the show's theme songs. But it was his transition to acting that made him a household name. Bill's most iconic role was that of Campo, and Campo was a lovable, eccentric character, known for his ragged attire, scruffy beard, and mischievous nature. As Campo, Owen brought infectious energy, humor, and a touch of rebelliousness to the show. His chemistry with his fellow actors became the heart of the series. Tragically, Bill passed away July 12, 1999, at age 85. He had battled pancreatic cancer for some time before succumbing to the illness. His unique portrayal of Campo left an enduring legacy, and his character remains an iconic part of British television history. Brian Wilde Brian Wilde performed the memorable role of Walter Foggy Dewhurst. 
Born June 13, 1927, in Ashton-under-Lyne, Wilde had a successful career in film, television, and theater. His portrayal of Foggy endeared him to audiences around the world. He joined in 1976, taking over the role from Michael Bates, who had recently passed away. Foggy became an integral part of the show's beloved trio of characters. With his military background, bossy nature, and grandiose plans, he brought a new dynamic to the sitcom and added to its enduring charm. He also appeared in various British TV shows and films. He showcased his acting skills in series such as Porridge and Some Mothers Do Have Them, leaving a lasting impression with his comedic timing and distinctive delivery. Brian passed away March 20, 2008 at age 80. Michael Aldrich Michael Aldridge had a notable career and is best known for his last of the summer wine role of Seymour Utterthwaite. Born September 9, 1920 in Glastonbury, Aldridge established himself as a versatile and accomplished actor. He joined the cast in 1986. His character Seymour was a former schoolteacher with a penchant for long-winded stories and an eccentric personality. His character added a touch of intellectualism and quirkiness to the ensemble, making him a fan favorite. Throughout his career, Aldridge also made appearances in various other shows and films. He showcased his range in productions like The Good Life, Rumpel of the Bailey, and Waking the Dead. He passed away January 10, 1994 at age 73. His death came as a loss to the acting community and for fans of Last of the Summer Wine. Frank Thornton Frank Thornton was born January 15, 1921, in Dulwich, London. Frank had a remarkable presence on screen and was beloved by audiences for his comedic timing and memorable characters. And one of his most notable roles was Herbert Truly True Love. He joined the show's cast in 1988 and quickly became a fan favorite with his dry wit and deadpan delivery. Truly's misadventures and eccentricities brought laughter to viewers and Thornton's portrayal added a delightful touch to the show's ensemble. Sadly, he passed away March 16, 2013 at age 92. Keith Clifford Keith Clifford had a knack for bringing characters to life and captivating audiences. He gained recognition for his role as Billy Hardcastle, having joined the show's cast in 2000. As Billy, he brought a mischievous charm and a zest for life to the screen, delighting viewers with his comedic antics and lovable nature. Beyond his work on Last of the Summer Wine, Clifford appeared in various TV shows and films. He showcased his versatility as an actor, taking on roles that ranged from comedy to drama. Sadly, Keith passed away December 5, 2020, at age 73. Bert Kwok Finally, we have Bert Kwok. Born July 18, 1930, in Warrington, England, Kwok was known for his versatile acting skills and distinctive voice. He played Entwistle, having joined the cast in 2003. He quickly became a fan favorite with his dry humor and memorable one-liners. And Whistle's interactions with the other characters added a delightful comic element to the show. And Quok's portrayal was nothing short of brilliant. He also appeared in numerous films and TV shows throughout his career. One of his most iconic was that of Cato, the martial arts expert and loyal assistant to Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther film series. Sadly, Burt passed away May 24, 2016, at age 85. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from Last of the Summer Wine? Let us know in the comments section below.